Taxpayers are on the hook for over a half million dollars to settle a lawsuit against New York State Assemblyman Vito Lopez. He's been accused of sexually harassing two of his staffers. News Channel 13's Anna Myler reports. All women should be treated with respect and dignity, not as sex objects or as problems to be handled and silenced. That was the message from two former legislative staffers as they accepted a $580,000 settlement in a lawsuit they filed against former Assemblyman Vito Lopez, claiming he sexually harassed them. I think this episode proves it is not acceptable and you will be taken to task and you will cost the taxpayers if indeed this happens. Lopez will pay $35,000 to the women, while New York taxpayers fork over $545,000 more. This was a lot of money that the state can't afford. I'd rather see it go to education. I'd rather see it go to health care. I'd rather see it go to infrastructure repair than have to go in a settlement of a court case. But if that's what it takes, let's all agree that this should never, ever happen again. Chloe Rivera and Victoria Burhans also sued the Assembly and former Speaker Sheldon Silver, who they claim created an environment where sexual harassment was tolerated and swept under the rug. Silver used $103,000 of public money to silently settle a separate sexual harassment claim against Lopez, who resigned in 2013. Silver recently resigned in light of federal corruption charges against him. Assemblyman John McDonald hopes new leader Carl Hasty will help clean up the corrupt culture. It's an opportunity to, to turn the page, an opportunity to move forward, remember what has gone wrong in the past, never repeat those errors again, and, and hopefully a situation like with Mr. Lopez is something that we'll never, ever see again in the New York State Assembly. And Barbara Bartoletti hopes more women will break through Albany's glass ceiling. And we have seen women actually, women legislators actually beginning to have an influence within the conference and within the actual culture of Albany saying, um, you can't treat my interns that way, you can't treat my staff that way. And it's going to take a little bit of time. Lopez hasn't admitted to any wrongdoing, and the settlement still has to be approved by state officials. Silver remains a part of the assembly while facing separate corruption charges. In the newsroom, Anna Myler, News Channel 13 Today.